from GameWiener.com. And today I want to talk to you about a new set of Stunna Shades that came out for Monster Hunter World. And so uh, this is a part of a new event quest. Uh, definitely wanted to talk a little bit more about it. I'm actually one quest away from getting the black crystal ticket necessary to go ahead and get uh, the actual Stunna Shades. So um had a couple people asking oh well you know where what, what do you actually do with these black crystal tickets so this is what it's for uh, if you check the low rank armors you're not going to see it it's not on there because it is a hunter rank 11 quest in order to actually get this so if you're not hunter rank 11 yet uh do it as soon as possible because the uh the quest i think ends in like seven days something like that so uh, definitely not a lot of time, but um, certainly enough to be able to get it, do it, and uh, get the sun a shade. So, first thing uh, is the quest. What quest is it? So, um, going over this way, you're going to the job board, post a new quest, go to the events, and in the events, you're going to see a few new quests here to the fat. Um, this one here, I'm not sure what this one does yet. I'll find out soon. Um, simple task, haven't done that one yet, but once again, I'll find that out soon. Um, apparently you get a whole bunch of decorations from this one, so I'll probably be grinding that one out for a little while. But then here is the quest to get the Stunna Shades. Now this is a flash in a pan, in the pan, on the pan, whatever. It's a Hunter Rank 11 or higher quest. Three ZZ Yakus at the same time. Really easy quest. So like, here's the best way I've come out about uh, doing this. Um, it's pretty much a very simple, standard uh, strategy, to be honest. Not really too much to it, but yeah. So uh, let me see here. Depart on a quest. Just gonna wait for that. And then also, um, you know, I will be doing some videos. I, I apologize. I haven't been doing any videos for a little while, just because I've been so busy trying to get a whole bunch of other stuff done that I, I feel like that was kind of overwhelming. So now that I'm moving back into the rhythm of things, I think we can pick up where we left off and we should be able to have a little bit more of an enjoyable scenario there for GameWiener.com. Do apologize once again, guys. But here we are here with the ZZ Yakus. As you can see, there's three of them in one area. So what I do, Max Potion, get myself ready because you can't eat in this quest for whatever reason. Um, and then we get this first one. Take a look at me. And I'm going to bring him over here. Because you don't want to fight all three at once. You're just going to get flashed and blinded over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And that's really not uh, enjoyable. So get him over here. The other ones don't even care about what we're doing over here. He's going to get beat up. Now all of these have pretty low HP. Uh, don't use a... Don't bring a light crossbow to this match. Uh, bring something melee, something that you can take them out with pretty quick. Me personally, I use the hammer for every mission. I don't even care. Like, hammer has been my favorite since the beginning of time. So, I mean, I'm not going to stray away from that now. But as you can see, I mean, with one by himself, I mean, you can't even really do anything. And maybe the, the little kicks or whatever, but, I mean, he's pretty much grounded. I don't let him get too far over there. And if you get, if you ride him, just drop off. Don't even, because otherwise he's going to call the attention of the other ones. And that's, once again, a, a no-no. So we go ahead and uh, got him knocked down. We're just going to take him out here. There we go. Just, just nice and melodic. Uh, that was terrible. Now he should be close to death already. Doesn't require much really for these Iziyakus. It's just fighting him as a group that's the uh, pain in the butt. Alright, uh, here he comes. There we go. So we got the first one down. Like I said, pretty easy stuff. It's only been like two minutes in. Now what I usually do is since I have Elder Seal, I get these piercing pods. And obviously you can see those two are kind of close to each other. So we don't want to uh, alert one or the other one. 
um, at this point in time. So we're so close to this being just quick and easily. So what I do is I run over here, shoot a piercing pod at him. There we go. And then run this way. He's just going to start running this way. He's a little bit slow, obviously. Doesn't know where he's getting hit from. There we go. Now he sees it. Yep, getting a little bit too close to that other one. Bring it back over this way. Now there used to be the Gyps Ross that would do this all the time, like the whole flashy stun you thing. They just condensed it into a Velociraptor form. The other one was kind of like a turkey. Big, big giant turkey. Oh. And if you don't know what that is, that's the choral uh, orchestra or whatever the hell it's called. It's called something like that. Um, there's actually some uh, some good hidden tools. Um, I mean, I, I've, I've seen some pretty good videos on them. Um, I try not to make redundant videos, so like doing another one of the same thing is really not my cup of tea. You can check it out on YouTube, and you'll find uh, plenty of videos on how to get all the tools and all that stuff. It's Pretty interesting. Alright, well, this one should be dying here very soon. So I'm just gonna ride him since he's so close to death, it's like, it doesn't even matter at this point. And this should be the final, if not this right here, should be the final. And this is why I love the hammer. Um, I mean, the hammer is really pretty damn simple. It's a big hammer and it's going to just hammer them until they die. Now, it does look very much like a battle axe right now, that's because it's a Valhazak hammer and it's obviously a battle axe variant. It doesn't cut like a battle axe or anything, so it doesn't sever tails and all that stuff, but it's still pretty sweet to have um, something that looks like a nice clean battle axe. There we go, carving up the second one. So we're only about five minutes into this quest and it's already pretty damn close to completion. Total video time's at eight minutes, so we really have done uh, pretty well thus far, as far as time's concerned. I'm trying to cut this down to maybe about a 10 minute video, 15 minute video, if that. You don't need a whole lot of exposition on this, it's pretty damn simple. As always, if you like the videos, um, feel free to like us, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I try to make uh, useful videos for all the different interesting games and situations coming out. Um, I mean, that's pretty much the, the big deal for me is uh, just making sure we got some cool relevant videos. And uh, if you do have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment below. And that's going to just give me the ability to respond to that. I actually respond to them pretty uh, quickly. Been having a lot of people, I guess, picking up Final Fantasy XV lately. And um, some of my older videos of Final Fantasy XV, because there was a, a 
uh, install issue is like he was hard to install Final Fantasy 15 for a lot of people but for some reason that has been picking up and there's been a lot of people uh, messaging on that particular video um, you know I tried to leave as much uh, answers as possible on how that works and how to fix those issues uh, if you do have any other questions though feel free to hit me up and now this one should be pretty close to being done now There we go. And there it is. Alright, so we got the three ZZ Yakus finished. Like I said, a pretty easy quest. I mean, only took, what, like seven minutes? If that, maybe like eight. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's really easy, guys. Just remember, I mean, go with melee. Keep them singled out. Shoot for that, uh, you know, using something with... Uh, Elder Seal preferably just so you have something to shoot the other ones with to bring them back over to your side um, You can fight all three at once. Honestly, it's not that hard. I, I mean I Imagine I haven't really Tried it that way because I, I just like trying to get it done as quick as possible but I mean maybe you are just a badass and you want to kill all three at the same time. I Don't blame you. I mean I, I would do that too if I really felt like it, I guess. And here we are at the end of the quest. So we're going to go back to the blacksmith and get those shades. Now, one thing that I do want to point out on the shades immediately off top is that there's three gym slots, three single gym slots. And that's really good because, I mean, in reality, um, I've, I've learned and... Uh, something that I, I've been looking at, you know, as I, I met Hunter X64, I, I stopped playing as, as much, but, you know, I, I try to um, stay on top of it. But, like, one thing I've noticed is that with augments, and if you're not there yet with augments and all that, I mean, it is what it is, but you start realizing that the rare six, rare seven, pieces of equipment are in a way better as far as a full-on customization of a outfit than a rank 8 uh, piece of equipment just because you get more augment slots it allows you to customize and upgrade your weapon a little bit more and I think that that's a, a pretty um, valid thing to check out I, I don't know how, how much you can augment these shades but I'm imagining they design these shades to be in such a way that they can travel with you uh, regardless of your rank from 11 forward. But let's go ahead and get those shades. So looking here, I'm going to forge equipment, armor. If you go to the high rank sets, there it is, the shadow shades right there. Boom. Done. Now as far as customizing these, I don't know if you can change the color of the lens. Yeah, you can. So you can change the color of the lens, um, which is pretty cool. So if you want to make a Morpheus character, what I'm imagining, let's get those on real quick. All right, what I'm imagining is you could take these shades, take, um, where is it at? Uh, There you go. Take the Barnos jacket. Take like, uh, let's see here. gonna go good with that I mean does anything go good with that I've been trying to figure out like where where do you make this Barno set actually match for a while I have no idea to be honest I mean it's it's like what the hell like I mean it would have been cool as a full set though and it almost reminds me a little bit of the Camellios armor from the old games just the top a little bit. I mean, 
what can you do with it? But Gaiju seems to make a little sense to it, but I have no idea. Let's see. Maybe you just don't wear any belt at all. Maybe you just leave it alone. But anyway, these are the shades. Uh, what, as far as the stats are concerned, it does come with stun resistance, one piece of it. So, I mean, stun resistance is really easy to make. I mean, it doesn't take that long. Um, it's all just single slots anyway. So basically, if you wanted to make full stun uh, resistance, you just use two of those slots throw your stun resistance gems in there and then you'd have one extra slot to throw something else in as far as the uh, defense and all that stuff um, you know it's pretty standard but here's the thing is that don't be discouraged by the defense of uh, pieces of equipment augments change all of that so in reality you know when you have like shadow shades looks like it has one augment so you can upgrade the limit to where basically you can upgrade those for a much longer period of time and make them uh, on par with like a uh, see like a rarity eight piece of equipment or what have you. So pretty simple stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, subscribe and like if you want to see more Monster Hunter videos. I'm Game Wiener, and thanks for checking us out with our stun.